Welcome friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on a He-Man Master of the Universe Revolution. Now, Revolution picks up after the 2021 animated series Master of the Universe Revelations, chronicling the epic battle between He-Man and Skeletor, ongoing rivalry for Eternia. Foster's motherboard is a nefarious AI, artificial intelligence, since to conquer Eternia by Hordak, the classic villain from the 1980 She-Ra animated series. Now I'm looking forward to this. I wasn't sure if they was coming out with another He-Man, but it looks like they will. So I'm really excited to see this trailer. So let's go ahead and get into this. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, let's get with it. Bully Buff, I you up. Well done, Adam. That's my boy. Thieves, usurpers, you will all become part of my collection. Go get him, son. Okay, we just reacted to Masters of the Universe Revolutions. I'm so excited. You know, a lot of people complained about Revelations. I like Revelations. It was good. It was too much Tila in it, though. I wanted to see more He-Man and Skeletor. But, you know, it is what it is. I still liked it. It was great animation. It was a decent story, too. I liked it. Now they're coming out with a new one, Masters of the Universe Revolutions. All right, this is going to be very interesting. Now, I found this article in Variety. I really want to go over it and get a little bit more details about this show. All right, let's get into the story. Meg Foster Returns, Master of the Universe, TV News Roundup. Okay, that's interesting. I've seen this woman before. She's an actress. I've seen her in a lot of movies. I think the last time I seen her was in the originals. I think that's the same woman. Uh, she's an actress, really, really good actress. I loved her in the original. I saw her also in this sci-fi movie too. She played, she was younger and she played in it. It was a wrestler in it, a black guy. And it was like when they put on these sunglasses, you could see the, the aliens and we take it off. I forgot the name of it. It was a really good movie. It was silly and funny. It was just good. And she was in it. I think she's a great actress, but I did not know she played, uh, what you call it, Evil Lynn. That's very interesting. Let's get into the story. Meg Foster will appear on the Netflix animated series Masters of the Universe Revolution in an all new role as the ancient sorceress of technology, Motherboard. Mattel announced Monday, Foster returns to the He-Man franchise after starring in the 1987 live action film Masters of the Universe as Evil Land. Oh man, this sounds interesting already, man. Just reading this stuff. This sounds really good. Yeah, I guess they're going going with technology now. I just saw what we call the creator yesterday. I enjoyed it. It could have been better. I was thinking about doing a review on it. You know, it was it was a good movie. You know, if I guess I hit like high expectations, start comparing it with a lot of other sci-fi movies that I've seen in the past. I think it should have been more to it than it was, but it was it was still a good movie. I'm not even gonna say anything bad about it. I enjoyed it, you know, the time, you know watching it but i don't really want to get into that right now i was thinking about doing a review on it like i said but i decided not to 
So let's just go ahead and get into this because this is what I'm more excited about right now. Revolution pick up after the 20. Okay, I read that at the beginning, but I'm going to read it again. Revolution pick up at the, after the 2021st animated series Master of the Universe Revelation, chronicling the epic battle between He-Man and Skeletor, ongoing rival for Eternia. Foster's mother boy is a nefarious AI sent to conquer Eternia by Hordak, the classic villain from the 1980s Shira animated series. Now, when you look at He-Man, you know, from the 80s and now, you'd be thinking they live in the more ancient times, sort of like Game of Thrones or whatever. But I guess, you know, with the technology, when you really look at it, they have a lot of sci-fi technology, advanced technology. So I guess this makes sense for them to have an AI enemy. You know, this is an interesting turn that they decided to go here. I guess a lot of movies going to be coming out with this right now, which I have no complaints. I have no complaint because this is the era that we're going into. So we need to talk about it more. Foster joins Mark Hamilton as Skeletor. Fantastic. Fan. Oh, man. Mark Hamilton. Oh, he does a great Joker. I can't imagine what he's going to do with this particular character. But I'm wondering, was he in Revelations? I can't remember. Please leave it in the comments to let me know. Uh, it'd be interesting to know this. Chris Wood as He Man, okay. Melissa Bonius as Tila, okay. I know who that is. I just can't remember at the moment. The, the name looks familiar. And this is the part that gets me really excited right here. William Shatner in a still to be announced role. Now I'm looking forward to that. I didn't think William Shatner. I think years ago when they did an animated series for Star Trek, William Shatner did do that. I mean, William Shatner, he loved working, man, and he'll take whatever job that you're gonna gonna pay those bills. I don't know how serious he was about He Man, or whatever. I don't know if they approached him about it. I'd like to find out more about this. I guess you're gonna find out with the featurette when they talk about this. But either way, I don't care. I I like William Shatner, I like Captain Kirk, I like, you know, a lot of the roles that he played in. I think he's a good actor, despite, you know, everybody wanna make jokes about the way he talks. Why he's acting, but either way it goes, I enjoy it. And I'm excited that he's in this. And, and right now, there's not an announcing the role he's in, so I'm, I'm fine finding out later. Fred Soley, Rob David, Christopher Keenan, uh, Ted Basley, and Kevin Smith serve as executive producer on the animated series. All right, is there anything else? Master of the Universe Revolution is set to launch in Netflix in 2024. I don't have Netflix now, but most likely they're going to try to drag me back in, drag me back in when I thought I was out. Right. <laughs> but hey, I'm definitely going to have Netflix when he may come out. You know, that's I got to now I'm going to probably do re either reviews or just watch with all of you. I'd like to do it on Patreon or something else where we all can watch together. But like I said, I really need to start getting on this 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 streaming right now because a lot of people are ahead of me with the streaming and i'm not exactly sure what people want me to do as far as streaming goes so i would definitely like to do that but either case i'm really excited about this show a lot of people complained about revelations because it was the Taylor show but i like i said i liked it i enjoyed it i enjoyed the animation i enjoyed the fight scenes i enjoyed all of it you know and you know everybody was trying to do everything you know to please you know all the political people and you know, putting women up front and all that kind of stuff. But now it's starting to really cool down. A lot of people are starting to kind of back off it because they lose the money. And there's too many fans complaining. And they know they need the fans to make this money. They losing a lot of money. But, you know, a good sign is Disney say they're kind of backing off this political stuff now. So that might be a sign. And with this, with the, I guess with the trailer, with this, they're showing that He-Man going to be in the forefront. Now, trailers can't be deceiving. And also it was a short trailer. But I think companies are starting to realize, finally starting to realize they need they need to balance this out somehow. Instead of just, you know, making men look like idiots and just putting women up front, that's you know, that's just gonna that's a formula for just losing money and, and bankrupting your company. So I'm sure a lot of companies don't want to go that route. So I think they're backing off, at least for now. It's it's very surprising now that we have well it's not that surprising now that we got, you know, the uh, all this presidential debate and all this other stuff coming up maybe they just don't want to piss people off so they want to back out for now but depending on who who wins who knows they might go right back to doing this crap again who knows but right now i'm just not even gonna look that far ahead i just want, hope hopefully i can just enjoy he-man and just watch it like i used to when i was younger like i said i love animation and i love watching it if it's more adult and, and got great animation and great story. So I, I really enjoyed it, okay? All right, I really appreciate all of you coming by. 
Thanks again. And don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow. And like I said, if y'all want me to stream, please let me know. Please leave it in the comments and we can talk about it. And I can find some subjects where y'all can get into and have discussions on. Okay. All right. Thanks again. This is T and peace.